Hey everybody, Haku here with this week's uh, One Piece reaction bingo. We have One Piece chapter 1101. Uh, can't wait until 1111, assuming Zoro will do something there since he's the repeating one character. Um, but uh, yeah, either way, I'm excited to get uh, reading and all. Why does the, the bingo card look weird for me in OBS? I don't know. Maybe it looks normal for you all. It just looks kind of weird for me here. Maybe it's the way it's zoomed. Um, but if it is looking weird, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, either way, I haven't really thought about One Piece particularly much since last week's chapter. I mean, even after doing last week's video for patrons and members, I put it up and I forgot to make it public for everybody until Sunday night. So big sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, for those of you who don't know, patrons and channel members get this, uh, whenever the scans come out, I do the reaction to the scans and then I post it publicly whenever the official translation comes out or the official release comes out. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm excited to read. One Piece has been good lately, I think. It's one of those things where it's modern One Piece. It's hit and miss. You could get a really, really, really great chapter or a big chapter of nothing. Like, you know, you never know what you're going to end up with. Last time it seemed like Kuma was going to Fusha Village, though, so we might have him looking over or even meeting Child Luffy. Or at least younger Luffy. I mean, at this point, he would have still been fairly old-ish. So I don't know. Yeah, because at this point, we're not that far in the past anymore. So I don't, I don't know. You'd think it would be the kind of thing Luffy would have mentioned, but One Piece kind of does this. We didn't really mention Sabo until really far in. Uh, so either way, let's just get to reading and I can talk about things as I go through and all. Uh, but yeah. Either way, to run through the bingo card before we get started, last time I, or this time I did the same as last time, where I only switched out three and I reworked a couple things. Um, there will be a link in the comments and descriptions. You can make your own card if you want to. It's randomized, so like the card you get is not going to be the exact same as mine. But I got uh, Nika mentioned, Ace Shoner mentioned. I figured since we were going to. Um, going to Luffy and Fusha Village, maybe, that that might be something that happens. A new cover story, which we still haven't gotten. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what's up with my throat. A named character death, back to the present. Where's Caribou? Dragon, I thought, you know, maybe. Um, whether it's in the present... <clears throat> in the present, sorry. Whether it's in the present or whether it's, like, within the flashback, we might see some more stuff with Dragon, giving us connection to Kuma. Um, a named attack, Vegapunk, any of the Vegapunks I'll count, any Stry Hat mem <coughs> member, a Devil Fruit, sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my throat, a Devil Fruit Awakening, Bounty Reveal, Free Space, which we can go ahead and click, Bonnie Death, uh, which, you know, at this point, that one seems pretty unlikely. Uh, last week I thought, okay, maybe I'm getting jabated, maybe it's happening, uh, but this week, highly doubt it, Carrot Andor Zunisha, Kuma Death, which is much more possible, uh, Vivi Wappler Morgans, Gorose, Admirable, or Admiral, Admirable, Admiral, uh, Whoop Slap, who if you don't know is the, um, the mayor of Fusha Village, Smoker, I can't believe, last time, uh, you all pointed it out to me, I completely forgot to mark Crocodile, even though we saw him. Uh, new name Devil Fruit, we're still in the flashback. Zoan Transformation or fan service. I went from but fan service to I was like, ah, oh, it's kind of like what do you or don't you consider fan service, but I just threw it in here still, just because I think it's a fun space. But uh yeah, either way, let's get to reading. Starting off here, we have the jump cover with Luffy snowboarding on it, and I I brought up the chapter while I was getting ready to record, brought up this jump cover, and there are three, four other series feature it up here. I don't remember. I don't, I don't, I don't recognize any of them. I feel like a very out of touch boomer. I've been so out of jump culture in so long, apparently that I, I don't know any of these. I, I feel like just this ancient old man. Oh, I, I do love the young people. Is there a new Dragon Ball out this week? Do they have, where, where's Yu Yu Hakusho? Um, I just feel ancient looking at this and like the first one is like Ta or you something San Chino Dicenso, I think would that be? Now you're seeing the grand limits of my kanji reading. Um, but then you have apparently the hottest new thing. It's like, um, 
I think that's chapter three of Green Green Greens and chapter two of uh, Something Something Senki. Uh, and then I don't even know the kanji for that other thing in pink that gets a center color spread is what it says. Um, but either way, okay, One Piece has a center color spread. We're, we're getting that and it's the Vegapunks, which seems like a weird point in the story to do a Vegapunk uh, color spread like this. I feel like long ago this would have been awesome. At this point, not only have we seen them at all, but we know that one's a traitor and a couple are dead. So, so a little late on the draw when it comes to this one. I like how the O in One Piece is, the, uh, is an egg, though. That's cute. All right. But hey, we get to see York. I didn't put... I didn't put York on the uh, board this time. I have Vegapunk, but like, ah, dang. Maybe if we go back to the present, well, okay, the other two. Diagonal's not looking good for me. Maybe somebody else can get a bingo because I have been doing this for months at this point and I've been so unlucky. So, uh, yeah, I'm just glancing through. That's wild though. I'm not gonna get, hmm. I'm not going to count the jump cover as as a uh, straw hat. At least not yet. If we don't see any straw hats this chapter, I might. But I'm not going. I'm not going to cheat quite yet. Um, yeah. Okay. So I didn't have York this time, but we do see Luffy's hometown three years ago, Mount Kalubo, Kingdom of Goa, East Blue, Gamo Gamo, Chapter One Thousand One Hundred and One, Dear Bonnie, and Kuma's looking on. Axe and he stomps through some stones. God, the creatures of the island are freaking out. Dragon, you seem familiar with this island. Not only that, but when I went to stretch my legs earlier, I found a remote village on the outskirts. There was a young boy there. If you keep talking about this, you may as well kill me yourself. Oh? What do you mean? A child is their parents' weak spot. I'm sorry, I'll forget what I saw. This is some very interesting stuff coming out of Dragon here. Huh. And then we get back to... I, I thought about putting flashback within a flashback as part of the... As part of the bingo board. I kind of wish I would have. We would have gotten that. What an awesome finishing move. I'll save it for when I'm up against a super strong enemy. After I set sail and get my crew. And Kuma's watching him from the shadows. So Kuma was at the very least watching Luffy. But uh, we got Dragon. We haven't seen Ace Shoner mentioned yet. I feel like Nika mentioned could be could be a real one. Um, we do have any Strat member with Luffy here. Oh, a named attack. All we need is <laughs> Caribou. Bank on Caribou. Yeah, we have a named. If any of you have read before me by now and Caribou shows up, you're probably like, you're probably like, oh my god, when he hits that point, when he hits that point, if we finally, finally see Caribou, um, anything else, no Devil Fruit Awakening or Bounty Reveals, nothing like that. Uh, I don't believe we saw a Poop Slap Emmy or an Admiral yet, uh, so I think we're probably good. Just glancing through. Oh, we are still in a flashback. I almost forgot that. That's kind of kind of an important one to uh, go with here. Okay, let's continue reading. I gotta be ready for when someone tries to take them away. I won't ever let that happen, but if anyone tries it, blam, I'll give them a gum gum axe to the face. Pretty cool, right? It would be so interesting. I don't remember. I don't think he tried to use that on Kuma, but if he tried to use that on Kuma, because Kuma is the one who eventually takes them away. Don't worry, I don't eat wimps. And all the animals are still terrified. Monkey D. Luffy, age 16. So this is like one year prior to uh, pre-time skip. And then we have the beta beta from the snail. Hmm? Who's there? And he uses his devil fruit to warp away. Weird. What was that feeling just now? It gave me the chills. Man, just the little hint we got from Dragon to me is the craziest thing so far. I don't know what to make of it. I bet there's still some tough opponents around here. I'm gonna whoop them before, or I'm gonna whoop them all before I set sail. Some pirates fled after raiding a nearby merchant ship. Uh, your orders are to blow those lowlifes out of the water. They came out of nowhere. We need to get the wounded to the nearest hospital. Kuma, come in. What are you doing? Huh? Uh, okay. I'll go on ahead with them. The rest of you should follow as soon as you can. Thank you so much. We thought they weren't going to make it. Kuma, respond immediately. 
okay? I was trying to see if the people he was rescuing looked notable, but I don't recognize them. Um, turn yourselves in. Wait, we didn't mean nothing by it. We'll give everything back. Everybody, fork over all your loot. It ain't worth our lives. Dear Bonnie. And this is where we get the uh, chapter title. I figured it'd be from a letter since that's how he has to communicate now. The world is full of beauty that can't be captured in photos or picture books. I long to see your bright smiling face as you experience such wonders for yourself. Meanwhile, in the kingdom of Sorbet, is it here yet? Is it here yet? And she's repeating it. Is it here yet? How about now? Come on. I'm sure he's very busy with work. That or the news coups keep messing up. But Daddy said he'd write a whole bunch of letters. Now, er, now, now, dear. Letters have to go on a long trek of their own, you know. One will turn up sooner or later, Bonnie, you'll see. And we still see Connie there. All right. Oh, and are they maybe just being intercepted by um, Alpha, or Khalifa, basically. What have we here? A newspaper. And another heartwarming letter. Put this in the church's mailbox. Yes, ma'am. Is it a letter? Nah, just the morning paper. Ah, another one? How many, er, yep, how many does this make? He's sending around ten a month, so that's a fair few. How's he even finding so much to write about? To Bonnie. How mushy can you get? And she tears it apart. One last thing, Bonnie. You're probably sick of me saying this, but I love you so much. I'll be sure to write again soon. This is so sad that she didn't get all of these. Gyo gyo, let's spar, and she turns into like a muscular future self. Again? Come on, Bonnie. How about some Jenga instead? Oh, I think she used that. Like at some point on Egghead, where she turned herself into muscular future her. Um, I said I want to fight. Bonnie Chan, it's time for your medicine. Hmm? Am I imagining things? I could have sworn Bonnie was huge just now. Oh, do they not know about her powers? Yuck, does that, or does the medicine have to be this bitter? That just means it's working. As if, this is just some horrid lemon-flavored placebo. Uh, Japanese use ramenade, which is lemon, or which is lemonade-like soft drink. Hey, Granny Connie, why are we hiding Bonnie's abilities again? To be safe, you know what they say, a talented hawk hides its claws. Navy Science Division Lab 8. Amazing, Doctor. I can't believe you did it. Now we just have to lift the brain and the lab using island clouds. Okay, so they're creating the uh, punk records. About half of what you see here is holographic. I had planned for Punk Hazard to be like this too, you know. Just admit, er... I must admit, that cut suits you. Okay, and it's Stussy with his head. Oh, I took Clone away from the board, didn't I? No, I took clone away from the board. I could have put clone. Ah, no. And then, be, 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 I feel light as a feather. Kuma, I heard you're going to lose your sense of individuality. I wonder which of us has the most checkered fate. The human that lacks free will or the clone that doesn't. Knock it off, Stussy. You're just as human as the rest of us. What exactly should I expect when my personality is erased? I'll put it like this. You may already have a reputation for being totally obedient, but what would you do if you were asked to kill a child? What it means is, you'll lose not only your memories, but any empathy or humanity holding you back from fulfilling such a command. And it's interesting because we know he did do some good stuff after this. That being said, you should retain some degree of free will until the process is fully complete. That'll give you roughly one more year. Another letter? I'll keep writing till I run out of time. The the best character in the series. I love Kuma at this point. Bonnie deserves to know how I feel. I want to send her a whole lifetime's worth of love before this year is over. Hee <laughs> hee, how sweet. Bonnie's almost nine now. I wonder how big she's gotten. Do you think she's changed a lot? I don't know when you'll get better. Or, I don't know when you'll get this letter. But, happy birthday, Bonnie. I'm back at Vegapunk's lab. Things are busy around here. Happy birthday, Bonnie. Congratulations. And we have everybody celebrating at the church. And then, Granny Connie made an extra special giant pizza for you. Woohoo, thanks. I love it. So good. And then, she's sneaking around while everyone's asleep. Nothing. There's still no letter. Daddy, I'm nine now. You said you'd write. Man, this is heartbreaking. Okay. I don't think we've had anything le or anything else on the, uh, yeah, I'm just glancing through really quick on the bingo board. I really, 
Yeah, because we were at Egghead, but we didn't see uh, Kizaru this time around. Yeah, so I guess that's it. I don't think I'd count anything as fan service yet, but maybe I missed something that you all would count. Um, and so, another half a year passed without a single letter reaching the church. Revolutionary Army HQ Baltigo. Kuma came to the rescue again? Yeah, just like all those other times. The revolutionary forces were on the ropes. Then he swooped in to save us at the last minute. After that, he left without saying a word. And Sabo's listening on. If Kuma wishes to not be followed, we have to respect that. Kuma-san, I'm sure he has his reasons for keeping us in the dark, says Dragon. I'm all better. Look, the stones are completely gone. I can finally go outside. Not a chance, Bonnie-chan. You must stay put. We've been told to keep you under close supervision until your 10th birthday, says Alpha. And I mean, I don't know how long Khalifa was with the Gali Law Company, so maybe it is a separate person. Uh, I guess we'll have to see. You liar. Vegapunk said I'd be fine after a year. And that was a year ago. I forbid it. Alpha and the other government agents. Um, and we have Connie whispering something. What? Shh. They let slip er, while they were getting drinks in town. Apparently your disease has been cured for a while now. Really? We must be missing something. Why would they keep a perfectly healthy young girl trapped inside for another six months? Also, I find it hard to believe that Kuma wouldn't send a single letter. Yeah. I've already sorted things out with Gyo er, Gyogyo and the others. Head for the port, Bonnie. Sail the seas and go find your father. Can I really do it? Gyogyo and the rest aren't your average fishermen. They're a strong pack of hooligans, and I'm sure the pirates of the sea be er, I'm sure the pirates and sea beasts will turn tail once they see them in action. They'll be there to help you find Kuma. So this is er, this does turn out to be her crew, I guess. I'm going back to the palace. I see. Take care. So this is the outside world. There's so much dirt and grass. Look at the sky. There's the sun. Bonnie's actually walking outside. It's a miracle. There really is a god. I never thought I'd see the day. Bonnie over here. Gyogyo, tots, potato. Look, everyone. I'm really, er, I'm really outside. Um, where's Bonnie? I just saw the Queen Dowager outside and we have the uh, agents freaking out. What the hell is going on? It's me, Bonnie, you lying old prune. <laughs> so I'd say, I love Connie. Connie's another character that's coming out of this flashback. Huge ups for both Bonnie and Kuma for me, becoming two of my absolute favorite characters in the series coming out of this flashback. But Connie is also up there coming out of this. She's been a really cool part of the flashback. Set sail. Wow, we made the ship look like a pizza for you. Hold it right there. Oh, and Alpha's running. Alpha found us. You think you can get away from me? I'll beat you to within an inch of your life. Enough of this charade. I'll keep you chained up day and night. Er, that'll make things much easier. She's flying towards us? That's one of the six powers. I was ordered to eliminate any accomplices. Hey, Daddy. What's Nika look like mentioned? No one knows. Distorted future. Bonnie? But they say his body was all rubbery, and there was no limit to what he could do in a fight. Gimme a Nika-ish future. And she basically, like, her power is OP then. She can, like, turn herself. Could she use any devil fruit then, essentially? Just let me use the power from a future where I ate this devil fruit. So yeah, she uses a Nika punch. The government would soon receive word that their hostage Bonnie escaped to find her father. Like Luffy and the others, her vessel would gain fame. It would go from a humble fishing boat to an infamous pirate ship in the new era, a young girl heading for the future. Okay, break next week. Honestly, I'm surprised there wasn't a break this week. It just gave me break week kind of vibes. But, uh, I guess, I guess we didn't get anything else up here. I mean, I guess that's not too surprising at this point. Um, yeah, no, no Vivi Wapple or Morgans. Uh, no Kuma death yet. Uh, I was scared that might happen this time around. Um, yeah, I'm just glancing through, I guess. Really? No, oh, we got Nika mentioned. That's something. That's something. Uh, no Ace mentioned, which I kind of thought we might. Yeah, no name character death, which again, possible here. Huh. So yeah, 
that, that's uh that's what we got for this week it was a fun chapter i've really really loved this flashback um again i don't know what it says about egghead but people in the comments have told me uh an opinion that is the same opinion that i've been saying and that's that during the egghead arc the stuff away from egghead has been much, much more compelling than the stuff actually happening at Egghead. Uh, like, you know, I'm just gonna bring it up. People might hate me for saying this, but so we, we jump away and we have all the stuff with like Shanks and Kid, Lawn, Blackbeard, the Reverie flashback stuff with Sabo, which was very, very good. Then we have the stuff with um Hachinosu and Garp and Kobe that was incredibly good some of my favorite stuff this arc and now we have this flashback which even supersedes that I think this flashback is easily my favorite part of the arc so far last time though we were hyped up there was a lot going on and then we cut back and it all happened off screen and we didn't flash back to it and it just sucked it sucked period it was bad bad writing but what do you expect from modern one piece it happens sometimes what what I was going to say that some people might hate. What if we jump back and we've just skipped everything? We've skipped all the stuff that's going on with Kizaru, with um, with uh, Saturn. We skip all that and we're like two days into the future and we don't flash back to it. And that was just what we get. We go over, we flash to something else, and then we come back and the egghead incident's over. We didn't get to see it. That's what... I mean, that's basically what happened last time. So I now have new fear unlocked. New fear unlocked? That's what we're getting this time. Um, yeah, I'm expecting not, because I'm expecting this ends with Kuma showing up and teleporting them away, maybe. Uh, maybe making some big self-sacrifice. I would expect something like that coming out of this flashback. But then again, I expected a really cool egghead incident, and we cut back and like half the stuff was over with um off screen so who knows who kn that's again that's the thing i said at the beginning of the chapter you never know with one piece in the modern era whether you're going to get something really really good or something just dog shit awful you never know what you're going to get with one piece at this point um so we'll see what happens next time around we do have a break next week though so i guess it's going to be basically uh going to be basically Christmas by the time we get the next one, right? Yeah, maybe my math is bad. I don't, I don't know. Forgive me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to get this posted for everybody. So thank you so, so much for watching. Like if you like the video, again, reminder that if you want these videos a little bit early, you can become a patron or member. Um, but like if you like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of this chapter, my first thoughts and reaction. Subscribe for more One Piece Much More on the channel. Did any of you get a bingo this time? Because I have consistently, we've been getting more than five spaces filled in. I've just been getting terrible luck. I have still not got one. Um, so uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Follow on Twitter if you want. If you want to link to the Discord server, um, it's free and open for anyone. Um... If you want to help support the channel, then you could drop a super thanks down below if you want to. Or if you want One Piece a bit early, if you want a shout out at the end of every video, then you can hit join down below to become a member. Or go to patreon.com slash haku of the tubes or link will be in the description to become a patron. Thank you to people who are already patrons and channel members. Thank you to chosen regular Evan Holly, Magical Girls, Fr Nono and Smeller Dog, Cherry Dean Student, David Langstaff, Slayer Candidates, SG and Stan Cedar, and Pure Element Pate Ardialo. Thank you all so so much for your support, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.